philanthropy in the 1800s and the 1900s was about building institutions and it was about building um, uh, you know research and foundations for what you know has later become our our the the, the backbone or the um, vertebrae of our country and and what makes us be nimble and able to to move between government and and um, the nonprofit sector and then we the moment that I was entering the sector of philanthropy, philanthropy was being generated for the first time by capital. It was the days of Wall Street, the 80s, where mo money was making money before industry made money. And you saw buildings express that, and you saw libraries be invented, and you saw universities. And then in the 80s, when money made money, there was a different relationship to money. Um, it was a different relationship to, to philanthropy. And then when we, we, end, we left the, the 80s and went into the venture capital era, you saw philanthropy change again where people wanted philanthrop their philanthropy to have a return. They wanted to have, they wanted to be able to measure impact. And you weren't so much interested in building institutions as you were impacting uh, public policy or you know, demonstrating something that you would then ask your government to do. Well now, philanthropy is so interesting because philanthropy is being generated by information. And there's that old saying that information is power. Well, it is. And, um, and this generation, um, I would say that people who have access uh, to creating content have an inordinate amount of power and a consolidated amount of power. This is a very dangerous amount of power for the, the democracy that was built by the people that built institutions to have checks and balances. So part of the reason why I'm in film and in media is because I think that our fourth estate is really in trouble. We don't have a we don't have um, the kind of checks and balances that we have had in journalism. We don't have uh, the kind of long form, um, in depth inquiry into a subject matter, and that's why I am particularly drawn to documentary filmmaking. And I think that it's a real social innovation that you, as a consumer, for you know ten dollars a month on Netflix or whatever you're you know paying, can watch ninety minutes worth of. Um, uh, of a deep dive into a subject matter that took a filmmaker probably three to five years to make. I mean, the, 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 the cost of that transaction to you, the consumer, versus the person that's making the actual material is just nothing less than astonishing. And the model that's out here is to bring that cost down per, consu per, you know, per consumer because of the ability for us to now find markets that we never could find before with technology. So it's a very, very exciting time to be thinking about how media um, moves ideas.